Anyway, my kid is real good at sports, like football and that. I think he's going to get a scholarship. He hits real good, a real good, like, like one of them crackheads you read about them picking up north. But my wife won't let him play because his grades are low on account of him getting his girlfriend pregnant. Uh, uh, him, I mean, uh, not my wife. My, my wife can't get pregnant no more. Uh, uterus is ravaged like the projects. Anyway, I need that boy to make a lot of money by going pro so that I can get a new fast boat. What am I going to do, Wade? I, I can't stop crying. Brother, I share your pain. Let it go. Let those tears go. Let it all flow out your eyeballs, down to your cheeks. I love you, my brother. I love you. You're better than this. You are better than this, sir. Reach deep inside of yourself and just pinch it off. Don't you die on me. Don't you die on me. And that's enough. My friend, your woman has already gone feral. I was a fifth grade soccer coach once. Do not ask. It was a bad time of my life. I know. I know. And you're right. It's not even a real goddamn sport. No one ever got that brain damage. And I did my best. Yes, I did. It was hard. But we made some progress. We taught those kids to be number one. What it takes to get to the top. What steroids to take. Gave them the same as I give my beef hurt. Had to gamble on sports. Had to snap another kid's Achilles tendon behind the referee's back so he never walks right again. Stuff winners gotta do to get the job done. How to cover up the smell of marijuana by blowing through a toilet paper roll with dry sheet stuffed inside. How to leave a woman. I taught each of those boys the facts of life and how it is never about the woman's pleasure. Never, absolutely never about that woman's pleasure. Parents won't tell you the truth, but a man with a beer in his hand will. And the fact is, you do whatever it takes to win. If that wife of yours don't want to understand, don't want to let the boy play some goddamn football, then she's got to go, Mike. Mike, are you with me? You there, son? I, I, I'm here, Dwayne. Hear the words that I'm saying. She's got to go, Mike. <laughs> I, I know, Dwayne. I'll speak to a lawyer. <laughs> lawyer? <laughs> Fancy talk. I recommend drowning, Mike. Real men don't use lawyers. Show your boy what it means to be a man. Press her under the surface of the fluids. Mike, please. Uh, oh, okay. Love the show, Mike. Thank you, sir. Now we call this show Beyond Insemination because it's about what men like to do besides working on the farm. It's about what we were meant to do, man against nature. I am highly skilled at yarding noodling in a beaver dam. I do not like the animals that consider themselves engineers. I like plant-eating herbivores you can fatten up, give a loving name to, then callously kill and cook like a civilized man. Back to beavers. I once stuck my arm in a dam and four or five of them, an entire family in fact of beavers, bit into my arm. Got every last one of them on the grill that night and a couple of new hats. <laughs> For the record, I also do not like the fire ants as it is unreasonable to have a social structure of a bunch of new men acting as slaves for a woman. <laughs> Outside of a modern city, of course, where it appears to be mandatory. They call them places off the...